Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about Swiss chard and the nutrition and health benefits of this leafy green vegetable. Swiss chard is exceptionally high in its nutritional value. According to the website, the world's healthiest foods, Swiss chard falls third in line amongst their highest rated foods. Man, that says a lot. It only follows spinach, which is second, and broccoli, which is first in their long list. This says a lot for Swiss chard and, of course, spinach and broccoli as well. Now, regarding the specific nutritional content, Swiss chard is high in the B vitamins, including B1, B2, B3, B6, panathenic acid, folate, and choline. It also contains a lot of vitamin K, vitamin E, vitamin A, of course, in the form of the carotenoids, vitamin C, fiber, magnesium, iron, manganese, copper, potassium, calcium, phosphorus, selenium, zinc, and it even has a little protein in there. One cup of cooked Swiss chard has only 35 calories, so hey, it's an all-you-can-eat kind of food. Swiss chard has a lot of antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits. It contains a wide variety of antioxidants, including polyphenols, vitamins C and E, and the carotenoids. These compounds are well known for helping to protect us against free radical damage that can lead to a lot of chronic health problems like cardiovascular disease, cancer, and even cataracts in our eyes. It has been very clearly established that eating a diet rich in antioxidants does help to reduce our risk of developing these conditions. Swiss chard also has a wide variety of flavonoid antioxidants in there and both are relatively common and some not commonly found in other leafy greens. A lot of these compounds have been widely studied for their antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and even anti-cancer benefits. For instance, charred varieties with the stem colors other than green, and you'll see a, a rainbow of different colors besides green in the stems. They're rich in compounds called betalanes, and there are, those are types of flavonoids that have been found to inhibit a variety of pro-inflammatory enzymes along with the harmful free radical molecules. So don't let this discourage you from eating the green, all green variety of Swiss chard because it's all very, very healthful for us. But the ones with the colorful stems have properties all their own that are slightly different than the all green ones. Swiss chard is also rich in vitamin K, like I mentioned earlier, and one cup of cooked chard provides 477% of the recommended daily intake of vitamin K. So it's essential, vitamin K is essential for blood clotting and other cellular functions, and it's critical for bone health. Research has shown that a low vitamin K intake is associated with an increased risk for osteoporosis and bone fractures. On the other side of the spectrum, people who eat a lot of vitamin K rich foods usually have a greater bone density, bone mineral density, and a lower rate of osteoporosis. So the moral of the story is if you want to protect your bones, eat your greens. One note of caution on that is if you are taking blood thinning medications like warfarin, be sure to check with your doctor first before you start increasing your intake of any leafy greens, especially um, ones like Swiss chard that are high in vitamin K because it can alter the effectiveness of your medication and they may need to monitor your prothrombin time for a while as you increase your intake of leafy greens and they may need to adjust your medication to compensate for that so check with your doctor before you start gorging on leafy greens if you're taking blood thinning medications.
Regarding heart health, we all know that eating a diet that includes a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables is good for the heart. It's been shown to reduce the risk factors that can lead to heart disease like inflammation, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure. Swiss chard is an excellent source of potassium and magnesium and both of those elements have been shown to help maintain healthy blood pressure levels. Very, very important. Also, the fiber in Swiss chard may help to lower your cholesterol levels by binding with bile in the intestinal tract. That would be the soluble type fiber that's in there. The body, the liver, uses existing cholesterol to make bile. Bile is necessary for digesting and carrying fats through the intestinal tract. And when soluble fiber binds to bile, it carries it on out of the body with the feces. This forces the liver to make more bile out of the existing cholesterol in the bloodstream. So all of that together helps to work to keep your cholesterol level down. So including leafy greens like Swiss chard in your diet can help to keep your cholesterol in check. Eating Swiss chard can help to lower your insulin resistance and manage your blood sugar. Swiss chard is packed with nutrients that may lower blood sugar levels, including fiber that I mentioned earlier. This fiber helps to slow the absorption rate of sugar into the bloodstream after a meal, and that helps to stabilize your blood sugar levels. And the fiber also helps to reduce insulin resistance, allowing blood glucose to enter the cells like they are supposed to, okay? And since insulin resistance is associated with an increased risk for type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and obesity, it's important to consume a diet that has a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, especially leafy green vegetables like Swiss chard, to help promote healthy insulin activity. Also, like I mentioned earlier, Swiss chard is high in antioxidants, which have been shown to help reduce insulin resistance and other diabetes-related complications. There was a review of 23 studies found that those with the highest intake of green leafy vegetables had a 13% lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes than those with the lowest intake eat your greens. It's so important for your health. Okay, even if you don't like them, find a way to get them into your meals in a way that you can tolerate them. Try to include them all that you possibly can. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. I do hope this helps. Bye for now.